Hi to all my watch friends, and today certainly to all you Daytona watch lovers out there. I'm proud today to show you two absolutely grail pieces I would even dare to call the king and the queen of the vintage Daytonas. Both come from 1988 and created a new era for Rolex and also created a collector's niche like nobody has seen before. The 16520 Daytona was a game changer for Rolex and started not only a hype but also a new era of endless waiting list and a really high demand that you know lasted till today. Also my personal preference might be the manual wind vintage Daytona like the 6263, 6265. And you know, for me they are beauty queens, but when we are you know realistic, back those in those days in the 70s, they weren't a big success for Rolex. They were lying down in, in shops for ages. People could change their dials, could select like a Newman dial to get it more attractive. Rolex tried all kinds of things and alterations to give the model a more popularity, but it didn't work very well. I even heard stories of, you know new old stock Daytonas in, in, in drawers for years after the new one was all even released. So back then, you know, the, the, the Daytona wasn't so much a prestige model. In the 70s and 80s, it was way cheaper than a, than a uh, Datejust and way cheaper also than a Submariner. So it was really not a prestige watch in the Rolex lineup. And there is some kind of saying is, hey, if you buy a nice day date, you get a Daytona for free back in those days. You know how it changed these days are. Now you have to buy a couple of day dates before you even get on the list to buy a Daytona. So times have really changed. And the Zenit Daytona has become really one of the icons and maybe one of the most iconic watches of the Rolex lineup. And these two early Zenit Daytonas mark kind of the best that you can find in the market in beauty, in also quality, but mainly also in rarity. Absolutely the king and queen of the Zenit Daytona market. The king is the Black Dial R Series 16520 Zenit Daytona from 1988 with a powerful black dial and this one has the inverted six dial but even more important correct for this series has the floating cosmograph dial where the word cosmograph is just a little bit lower floating on the on the on the dial and um, this one is so clean the, the dial the the silver surroundings are just undamaged the, the the edges are also undamaged and what is really really nice with this one this one already has kind of a very warm patina on the sub counters, turning into a brownish, warmish kind of tone, which really adds a lot of warmth to the dial and the watch, and also, you know, even makes the black more powerful than, than you would imagine. It also comes with the correct and, you know, important 200 bezel on these watches. And what I really love with these pieces is that they have the matte bracelets. You know, back in the early ones, the first series have the matte bracelets that offer even a little bit more sporty kind of classic chronograph vibe to the watch. Um, where the modern ones and the, the latest ones have the polished center links, more, you know, kind of glossy posh finish to them. They become more stylish watches where these are still kind of adventurous watches and really, you know, mark also the classic vibe of a, of a, of a chronograph from this era. So really beautiful piece, also comes with box and papers. Um, yeah, absolutely grail piece, that black one, 16520. But how great is it that today we are not only able to show you the king of the Zenit Daytonas, the Black R series, but also we are able to show you the queen of the Zenit Daytonas, the absolutely beauty queen, white dial, also floating R series, 200 bezel, all the features that we just talked about, but this one is even rarer and more special. This one is the most prestige grail Zenit Daytona, the porcelain dial coming with box and papers so you know absolutely yeah collectors package piece this one and really special for the senior collectors because it is a refined difference not visible on a five meter distance when someone is wearing it it looks like a normal Zenit Daytona but if you look in detail this one is absolutely stunning and special as said they called porcelain dials not because the dials are made out of porcelain but the dials get a finish, a lacquer and certain kind of finishes on top of it that create the porcelain effect and give you the three dimensional and depth 
and shine and gloss and, and you know all the refinement looks that you would see with the finest porcelain out there. And what it makes really what makes it really special is if you loop it also and look in detail, the text on the fonts on top of the, 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 the porcelain have such a three-dimensional look to it. It really almost is like also floating on top of the dial. It really makes them special. And um, yeah, the rarity is very high. Also, this one has the inverted six and all these nice features and also the quality. Often these dials have damaged edges on the um, sub-dials. These one are also super clean, super nice, absolutely stunning condition. So here it is, two absolutely stunning, rare, and the absolutely grails of the vintage Zenit Daytona era, both from 1988, marking the beginning of a great era for Rolex and the success of the Daytona up till today. So check out our website at boulangensons.com. Check all the information, images and details on these two watches. And if you are interested into Zenit Daytonas or the porcelain dials, also check out our magazine we wrote some articles about them with more in-depth information and history about them and if you are you know have more questions about these contact me personally and i'm happy to help with all you know the information additional images video whatever you like um, and absolutely thank for watching i hope we see you soon again